literally, this is the, this is a drill that I prescribe to every player that I coach. I ask them to do it for 10 minutes a day. A good version of this drill is staying on center to where I'm turning and I'm missing all of these sticks while I'm maxing out what my rotation is. Mm. So this is teaching me every component and every movement that I feel like any player is ever going to need when it comes to rotation in your backswing, rotation in your downswing, and it also teaches us to feel what impact is supposed to be like without going into all the 17,000 complex things it might be that we could explain from beginning to end. Yeah, right, It's okay. a very simple way. So this, re I mean, you were right when we told me, Trevor sort of was explaining this. I was like, man, this is like the ultimate drill. And he's like, yeah, dude, this fixes like everything in a golf swing. So I like this 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes yeah. a day. Boom. Hey guys, we wanna thank Harry's for sponsoring today's video. Guys, obviously all of us need a razor. Some of us have a little beard going on, right? But I still use a razor down bottom. If you're anything like me, I want a razor that's affordable, one that I can rely on, and one that works really well. And what Harry's does that you know that we love is they give you an opportunity to try it really risk-free. If you go to our custom link, harrys.com backslash Eric Golf today, you can get a Harry's trial set for just $5. That's an unbelievable value. The set includes the five blade German engineered razor cartridge, a weighted textured handle in your choice of color, shave cream with aloe, and a travel blade cover. Harry's offers a 100% money back guarantee, so there's literally no reason not to give them a try. If you've been shaving for a while like I have, you know once you find a great razor that you get your hands on, you wanna keep that one. So if you don't have one you love, you're ready to replace that or try one new, highly recommend you check out Harry's. Again, it's gonna be harrys.com backslash Eric Golf. You can get that trial set for just $5 today. All right, guys, in today's video, we're talking about a subject that to me is probably like the number one issue that we run into with amateur golfers and with Mr. Trevor here, what I think is the number one way to fix it, really the best drill that I've ever seen and the best way to practice in a few minutes a day. Uh, Trevor showed me this drill, wanted to share it with you guys as to how you can fix your early extension, how you can learn to rotate and stay in posture as you do it. Really, really good drill. So. Trevor, if you would just demonstrate the motion first, and then we'll kind of dive through the details of how to set this up, what to feel, and both an outside version, and then we'll do sort of an inside version for Absolutely. someone. But what, what would a good, good version of this drill look like? So a good version of this drill is staying on center to where I'm turning, and I'm missing all of these sticks while I'm maxing out what my rotation is. Mm. So this is teaching me every component and every movement that I feel like any player is ever going to need when it comes to rotation in your backswing, rotation in your downswing, and it also teaches us to feel what impact is supposed to be like without going into all the 17,000 complex things it might be that we could explain from beginning to end. Yeah, right, It's okay. a very simple way. Love it. So uh, what I have here is like, First thing, get two alignment sticks and duct tape them together. Okay? That way you've got a widened base right here. And so what I see out of players who, let's say they struggle with early extension, if we started with that as our first topic. So we'll see, we'll see this player makes a really good backswing. They start to slide and tilt and as they come down, boom, mm. they're gonna run into that stick right there. That would be so they mean. get excessive early tilt this way. And that's the player that struggles with leaving the ball way out to the right. If you're a right-handed player, you might struggle with contact. And so those are the things that you're gonna see out of that player Push, right there. Push hooks, fat stins. Push hooks, fat stins, yep. the whole shebang, okay? Now, if you're the player who is over the top, here's what you're going to see. One, even if you make a good turn and I just turn everything together, I'm running into this stick now, yeah. okay? And the coolest thing about this right here is we have parameters that we have to stay inside and we've also got this stick right here that is relating to what the center of our body is. So yeah. my eyes are gonna stay on center of this the whole time. My pelvis is gonna stay relatively centered so that I'm in control of what my body movements can be. When I get too far this way, I lose control. and I get too far this way, I lose control because I don't have the same connection to the ground. That's what makes it harder for us to rotate. So when we're doing this properly, I'm gonna stay on center. I'm gonna take the lead side of this stick and I'm gonna turn it as close to this, maybe even past it if I can, 
without my pelvis ever hitting this stick that I have that's a fist away from where I am right here. Yep. Okay? Because if I stand up and I do this, I'm going to feel that. So I, I'm going to be able to get away with it in my backswing right here. But then if I do what the over the top guy does and I start back down in this, boom, I'm running into that parameter. My rotation's off. I'm just going to pause this for a second. Let's say as you're doing this, I think this is the first, let's just explain just this first piece. Yep. And I think this is a really cool piece. So you have an alignment rod in there and you said you get that what, about a fist away Correct. to start with? This is going to be about a fist away from the pelvis right here. And the goal then obviously is to keep the pelvis behind that or deeper than that throughout. Absolutely. So okay. this is how we can use rotation from the pelvis to create natural hip depth without us having to bump and slide the pelvis that way. So it's just, that's really like, I mean, that's very effective. This is, this is huge right here for yeah. most of us right there that struggle with standing up, early extending, et cetera. It's Both a really neat in through. Absolutely. It yeah. teaches us a parameter for what the lower spine, the pelvis needs to do throughout our motion. And then it teaches us how to sync it up with the shoulders and the upper spine on the way through. And so to kind of piece this together, we have this in here the uh, fist away from us, the pelvis is staying behind that. I need that in a big way. Yep. And then what's really cool about the way you put this together with these end sticks on here, yep. right? These these sticks on the end uh, that correlate with this stick yep. then adds in the shoulders, right? Absolutely. Which gives you how the torso moves. So it's almost like this bottom stick is for the pelvis depth. Yep. And then the top stick is to get the side bending. 100%, right? it's a counter, it ends up turning into a counterbalance piece. So as I'm here, my shoulder's staying over this side of the line on my feet, and it's staying over this. A lot of us stand up and we move this direction, which we'll get away with it on the way back, but then if I choose to slide on the way down, bam, I'm there. If I choose to go over the top, bam, I'm right there. There's like a hundred good things about this. A million. This is like, <laughs> literally, this is, the, this is a drill that I prescribe to every player that I coach. I ask them to do it for 10 minutes a day. Can you do that, do that shoulder again? So when you do it correctly, the shoulder stays on this side of that line that's on the ground, okay. Yep, so as I'm getting up here and my shoulder's there, I'm now counterbalancing the mass in my pelvis on my trail side and the mass on my shoulder on my lead side. That's what's also creating and help, helping me to create natural side bend right here. Okay? So as I do this on the way up right here, boom, there's my maximum turn. Now I'm gonna come down again. My pelvis is not moving towards this, so now I'm back on center where I would wanna be and I'm tracing the trail side through without my pelvis hitting it this way. Yeah. Now I'm in side bend with my right side. And it's a really cool, simplistic way for you to learn how to feel this versus thinking about all the things that we could do or all the things that created, in other words. I think, let me hop in there first, then we'll kind of go through a little bit of the setup. I like that, um, I like this. From, so I take my setup position Yep. One fist away. Yep. This is a cross. And you're going to put it all the way up on your shoulder line. That is super, super important. You want to have this on your shoulder line, not where the biceps are. Don't hold it where your elbows are. Hold it up on your actual shoulder line. Very important. And again, if they don't have this where they can set this up at home, we're going to show them it's kind of an easier version right after. This. A very simple okay. indoor version. Cool. Yep. So as we go back, I'm feeling the shoulders down and outside oh this is really good and so now you can see how much turn you have past center so and you can i can see if you get to 90. i can definitely see i want to go yeah oh yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. so i'm definitely feeling a little bit of that the, I, well honestly i feel like my hips are back more yep and my lead sides down more Correct. compared to my normal there's our counterbalance piece yep. yeah so i would normally go this way almost too much yep so i'm feeling more here and then from there, my tendency for sure with the push and hooks is I'm going to go boom right into that. You tilt into that. So I need to go here. And then as I work around, I'm in front of that. Okay. Exactly. Whew, now you can good. see Eric staying on center right there as he's pushing trail side through. Yeah. Okay. So this, re I mean, you were right when we told me Trevor sort of was explaining this. I was like, man, this is like the ultimate drill. And he's like, yeah, dude, this fixes like everything in a golf swing. So I like this 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes yeah. a day. Boom. Yeah, and for me, I mean, I really, that really helps me on both sides. It's not like I just feel that in one part. Correct. It feels like it's doing whole back swing. Okay, perfect. So let's say I've got, we've got the two alignment rods taped. Let's say they're going to do the full thing here, right? Two alignment rods taped together for the shoulders. We've got the stick. Could be inside or outside the ball, but it's yep. one fist. Just needs to be a fist away from where your belt buckle or your pelvis would be. That's set up. And then we've got the two poles on the end. Yep, so those poles we'll see are about 
the height of where our pelvis would be. So this is what's neat is whatever your height is, that's what you're going to try and set these alignment sticks up to. Okay. If you're five foot nothing, this alignment stick's probably gonna be too, too high. If you're six foot eight, this is gonna be a little bit too low. So you can use that as a parameter to make sure that it's helping every type of player there is. Now always hip high. Always hip high. And then you have that about a driver length apart. About a driver length apart in a straight line. Okay, perfect. And so if I did the bad versions, I'm hitting on the way back. A lot of the players I work with, the hips are going shoulders level. Yeah, so you hit that in your backswing even sometimes. There I'm you gonna go. I'm going to get the over the top. I'm going to get the under. I think that's so good. Why don't we pause for a second? We'll show you guys the indoor simpler version. Okay, Mr. Trevor, so a little bit of a um, sort of simpler dumbed down version, especially if they're inside or on mats. Yep. Um, we can recreate the same thing here. We have the object one fist away. Yep, one right? fist away from belt line. So instead of having the stick kind of pointing towards me over the ball, we just have a... Um, that's a tension rod, a metal tension rod right there. Okay. And, and they can with... they can just kind of have any sort of object in front of them that's... Yeah, you could have a chair, you could have that tension rod with, the, with that eye range stick, however you want to do it. Okay. And I'm trying to recreate the same feels with the stick across, right, where I make my back swing. I'm keeping the hips back of the stick that keeps me in my posture, quote unquote. Correct. This stick's gonna point a little bit outside the ball line. Correct. Not at it. Too yep, much. not to, not at the ball. Outside of it. And then when I come down, my feels are to kind of still, again, keep the, the pelvis back as I replace that left side bend with right side bend. 100%. And, and then we'll, would you say as I'm doing this, Trevor, that I'm like kind of slowly working in the feels and then am I starting to add a little bit of speed with that before I put a club in? Absolutely, so just like we said, so like neurologically, like one of the first places that I'll start is like I'll have players go up here and I'm gonna have you hold this for a few seconds, okay? Now the next place I'm gonna have you do is take this back down to where this works back to parallel. So that's where you know you're centered right there again, okay? You can feel that in your feet. Yep. Now you're gonna trace, the, you're gonna work the trail side through with side bend and that's where we're working into a finished position. That's just to, again, so that we can learn what the feels are initially. And once we get into where you, you're feeling pretty comfortable that you're able to miss those, that tension rod right there, then we should start to add some more dynamic movement to it, add some flow to it. Uh, because that's where our true colors are really gonna show and we're right. gonna find out whether we're gonna miss this or whether we're not gonna miss it. And that's what that'll start to train. This is such a cool way of feeling how the chest would cover it, how to get the right side down to the golf ball, the trail side down to the golf ball. Uh, this is my favorite rotation drill from a simplistic standpoint out of everything that I use right there. I love it. I think that goes through a lot of the feels good. Why don't we take a pause for a second again? We'll take this out and I'll try and transfer those same feels to the, to the club. Absolutely. Cool. All right, Trevor, so we took the uh, object out and you were saying, hey, kind of, how do we transfer this into my normal swing? Mm -hmm. You said, maybe do a couple with just the club now. Exactly. Imagine like that bar is still there. Imagine and that's where the pelvis is and you're staying inside of that with the pelvis so that you're feeling side bend back and then you're trading that on the way down. So I'm feeling guys when I'm setting up as if this bar, this wall is sort of right there in front of my hips. Right, if Eric was there, right I'd there. have this here still. So there's his feel that he's creating. Yeah, to stay okay. inside of that. Now we can start moving this into a motion. This is how we can start hitting golf balls with it now. Okay. So I'm still imagining that wall is there. I feel like that sort of lead shoulder goes down then I replace it with that trail shoulder on the way through. Absolutely. Let's replicate those same feels. Now you're way more on top of the golf ball. Yeah, I felt solid. And so um, I like that a ton, dude. I think those feels are very easy for me to transfer now when I'm starting to do the hitting and feel those same things. Imagine the wall. Imagine I'm doing those same sensations. Beautiful. And that's going to be much more giving me the rotation and the side bend, staying in my posture versus all the early extension stuff. So guys, if you have early extension, if you struggle with the pelvis moving in, you want to be able to rotate and side bend better. Absolutely love that. Whether they do, whether you do the simple version like we did at the end, or the sort of, I call it the more complicated or the, the, the bigger outdoor. version, the outdoor yeah, version. If you don't have those tools. Outdoor version for complicated. There you like go. <laughs> uh, the, the first version we did, do that a couple minutes a day, give yourself some feedback, 
Trevor, appreciate you, man. If you guys want to go see Trevor, come down to South Florida. We'll put that in the link down in the description down below. Online lessons, in-person lessons, all that's down there. Appreciate you guys watching.